Today we are doing budget challenge homemade tanks. How it works is we're each gonna take turns dropping the ball down the Plinko board and whatever amount you land on is what you get to spend to build your homemade tank. Today's video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Link in the description. Today's big baller is $20,000. And the low baller is $20. And there's one in between. You're first. I don't want the low baller. It's already set in stone, man. No, it's not. You can't break the curse. <laughs> yes, I can. Unlimited. Mr. Mr. Unlimited. You gotta be unlimited. You gotta have a thought process of being unlimited. Oh! <laughs> what is it? You can't. Boys, twenty dollars. I, I thought that was the five hundred. Somewhere, play that song somewhere. You know what song I'm talking about, guys? I don't. <laughs> the big baller crowd. Yeah. All right, guys. The rain continues. This is the close I'll, closest I'll ever get to a big baller. Man. Kiss the crowd. <laughs> well, there's only one amount you can get, so there you go. <laughs> what do you say we partner and make a homemade tank? That sounds super fun. I'd love to do that. Yes. Jackson, what do you say you build a homemade cannon for our tank? Yes. Yes! How am I gonna build a tank with $20? Once we're all done with our tanks, we're gonna take each person's tank and put it through a series of challenges and tests to see whose is the best. I don't have high hopes for mine. Since I got the big baller amount, I gotta think outside of the box because let's be honest guys, there's no way I can build a tank out of scratch. So I have a foolproof plan. I found on this website a mini excavator for sale. Only $14,000. I could definitely convert this into a tank. It already has the tank treads. It's got a giant arm. I could probably add a back seat with like a turret onto it. Hi, I was wanting to see if your mini excavator was still for sale. It looks like it is. I'm basically building a homemade tank. Do you think I could turn this into a homemade tank? What do you... Like with... Are you talking... But we're gonna buy it and I am gonna build a seat on this thing. All right, for my tank, I'm taking a wagon, add cardboard all the way around it, and then I'm gonna have a turret up here. So I'm gonna get a little motorized car, get like four or five sheets of metal, and then just kind of put them on the sides, have a little tank that's gonna like blast the heck out of everything. The bulldozer has officially been delivered to the content property. Samuel Jackson, unleash the beast! When we are done with this thing, it's gonna look nothing like what it does right now. So let's go over just some of the features of this tank conversion. We're gonna add the tank bucket over here. We're gonna have a turret on the back. What are we gonna do with this arm? Turn the bucket into a demo claw so that it can grab things and like crush them and rip them apart. This thing weighs 2,200 pounds, which means that it can squish whatever it wants to roll over. This could like easily wreck my car. Show like, us. So no. that's what we're doing next. <laughs> yeah. No, not my car. Right, you bye. might have to do that to a car at the end of this. This video. <laughs> I haven't even driven this thing yet, so let's uh, give it a test run. Justin is an expert at driving these. Oh my God. Let's figure out something we can destroy. You have been chosen. Let's see if we can run it off. Home Depot getting supplies to build our tanks. I only have $20, so I can't even get that much cardboard. I have to try my best to win these challenges. So I'm gonna get one of those motorized toy cars at Target or Walmart, but I'm gonna cover them in this. <laughs> so loud. I think I found my tank turret. Just cardboard's gonna look kinda lame. Camouflage spray paint. I'm gonna make this thing look like an authentic World War II beast. I kinda like this color scheme, the black and the tan. We're going Operation Desert Storm with my tank. <laughs> I did. I'm gonna get this little thing so I can have a face shield. Dude, watch this. You need two, not one. Two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> see what I mean? Yep. He's gotta practice Don't with the practice. two. Yeah. Go home. <laughs> In practice, okay. <laughs> Love you, Santa. Happy holidays. That'll be a potato launcher, man. 
up in the top turret and then driver down in the bottom. I'm putting some holes in these so that we can put these anchoring pins through. This is gonna be the seat. They're gonna sit up here. We're gonna have the potato launcher mounted like a turret. I need to get one of these little motorized cars. Semi truck, they got a Jeep. Dude, look at this thing. Oh, the monster jam. That'd make a pretty sweet tank. If you're gonna get one of these, which one would you get? Who's it for? Me. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, dude, I gotta, I gotta cruise around for a little bit. That one is 24 volts. That's twice as powerful as any of these other cars. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. This is gonna be my blaster. Yeah, I don't know if this will make the turn. All right, back to the warehouse. This is the wagon that I was teasing you guys about. I mean, look at the drivability of this thing. I didn't give it a full kick. Let's get building. Anna's gonna help me build this car. The weight limit on this thing is 130 pounds. I'm over twice that much. It's gonna be interesting to see if it actually rolls. These boxes are way bigger than I thought. I got too many boxes. Thanks World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Guys, check out the link in the description after you're done watching the video. From all the power wheels we buy, we usually get a 12 volt. That thing is gonna be flying. It's gonna kick your tank's butt. I'm sorry? We pretty much got the cage done for the pilot. Now I'm working on building the top turret and this is where we're gonna mount our potato launcher. Samuel and I have been building this air launcher. That way we can put it on top of the tank. Trying to trap all the air in here and then being able to release it pushes all the air out really quick. This one's just our baby one. We're gonna have a much bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the air chamber for the other one. So that's gonna be able to shoot even more power. Way more. Aha! Uh -huh. Pull these up. What are you doing? I hired a team to help me build my tank. Me too, actually. <laughs> yes. oh my God, dude. Once we get these walls installed, we'll have some type of structure. Oh yeah, it's coming along, coming along. In my head, I pictured this thing just sliding out of the box already built. I'm so stupid. Andrew's almost done. Ah, oh, my back. This isn't really sticking very well. What? Why? Just stick to the cardboard. That's solid. Now we're moving on to the turret. That's pretty sick, actually. Somehow we gotta get this to swivel. It's not as fast as a normal tank. Oh, dude, these don't even connect. Oh yeah, guys. I got this first panel installed. Oh yeah. You're gonna cut your head off. Yeah. I know, these things are sharp. This thing's gonna be invisible in the woods. Camouflage paint here. That's to give this the full tank texture and look, because without it, it's just a cardboard box. But with this, it becomes a tank. Doing pretty good for 20 bucks. <laughs> Loaded up with some ammo. This baby's ready to roll. Hopefully everything goes okay. Uh, uh. I'm actually pretty stoked on how it looks. I just uh, don't know what to do about the roof. It needs a roof. Ah, Transformers in disguise. If I saw that on the battlefield, I'd immediately retreat. It's a blower. Whoa! Is there a tool I can just cut a hole out for my head? If you go backwards, dude, my head will explode. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. I've been saying this whole time. After seeing both Andrew and Isaac's homemade tank, I think my biggest competitor right now is Isaac. My launcher. Oh, that hurt! Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? This thing means no big. What? Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's sweet. We are all done with our tank build, so it's time to give you guys a tour of what we built, starting with Andrew, who had 50 bucks. You might have heard of a combat Carl, but this is a cardboard Carl. The whole exterior is made of cardboard. One of the most solid things in existence, featuring this turbo cannon on the top, marshmallows. I have a lot of ammo. Uh-oh, blowing away. It has automatic reverse, man-powered. It's a little... Eh, whatever. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I could have done any better with 50 bucks, so. I only had 20 bucks, pal. I definitely wouldn't have done better than that then. Isaac had $500. What'd you build? In World War II, there was something known as the Rhino Tank because it was fitted with tusks. Well, this is the cow tank. Got two sweet horns on top, solid metal paneling, extendable turret, goes through the windshield right here in the little corner. Justin and Andrew seem to have forgotten, but we must have snacks. I think that's it. I'd like to introduce you guys to the Tank Dozer. Every good tank is heavily armored, has treads, and is full of power, which this thing does. We have a homemade cannon. Most historic tanks don't have this feature, but this is the Raptor Claw. Just like every good tank, two people can fit in here. We have the driver, and then we have the cannon guy. Bulletproof glass. 
That's all. For our first challenge, we're doing a race course because it is imperative for tanks to be able to maneuver and see how fast they can drive on the battlefield. Here's the point system. If you get first, you get 10 points. Second place is five points, and if you come in last, goose egg. This is suited for 130 pounds maximum. Everything's sharp. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just throw that seat out. Yeah, I mean, You're not even in your tank. I got a turret guy. Justin has a driver and a turret. Interesting. Go! <laughs> My battery's dead! <laughs> That's right. Slow and steady. One minute and one second. One minute and 55 seconds. You beat J Justin, right? Three minutes and 25 seconds. Look, I'll compensate with power. Boo. Trust me, pal. On to the next challenge. My battery didn't actually die. Look at this. What happened? My battery's still full. It was just the combination of me being so heavy and going like uphill, it just couldn't take it. <laughs> World Tanks is a free-to-play PvP online war game. With over 600 tanks to choose from and over 40 maps to play on, experience the non-stop thrill of 15 vs 15 tank warfare. From desert to industrial zones, there is something for everybody. Earn experience, modify, and upgrade your tank, and create your ultimate tank to climb to the top of the leaderboard. Just like how we've used our tanks in this video, how you play is up to you. Rush in, guns blazing, like Isaac. Ambush your opponents with sneaky attacks like Andrew, or just hang back and take them out from afar like me. Rally with your friends and jump in on the action today. Use our invite code JSTU to receive all these unique unlocks. Link is in the description, and thanks again to World of Tanks for supporting our channel. Our next challenge is all about cannon accuracy. We have four targets set up and whoever hits the most targets with their cannon wins. It is a moving shoot. So you have to continuously move the entire time while you're trying to hit the targets. If you stop the vehicle, you lose five points. If you hit a target, you get five points. Each target can only be hit once. So you can't just sit there and then go pop, 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 pop. <laughs> That's the end. I'm feeling pretty confident about this round. I have Jackson manning the handmade cannon as well. Let's say accuracy is gonna be 100%, no doubt. Right, Jackson? Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. Aim! Fire! Yeah! Great shot, lad! Ready? Aim! Fire! Oh! That was epic. Oh, yeah. Fire! Yeah! This is so epic. Fire at will, Captain! Bullseye! Fire! Oh! Woo! Short distance and long distance. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Hit Samuel. Fire at will. <laughs> oh my. Good. <laughs> oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> How's the ride back there, Jackson? Oh, it's comfy and cozy. <laughs> I feel like someone literally need me in the shoulder. That thing is crazy. Bulletproof last. <laughs> Isaac, you're last. Don't miss. All right. Go. Oh.
What's going on here? I don't know what to do about that. Well, dude, I don't know what to do. run through every challenge then surely i can get out of my <laughs> tank as well by the way guys these are our new black friday limited edition t-shirts limited edition there's only a few of these so you better grab them on black friday or else this thing's taking a beating but it's still going strong for the final round it is time for destruction every tank causes mass destruction so we're gonna see whose tank can do the most damage andrews is still intact but isaac looking a little iffy his wheel might not be working then we got my tank still looking strong oh your wheel came off what <laughs> dude no this part the wheel's not connected it fell off get out and we'll reattach the wheel I can't! Oh, I can't. There's no steering! I can't steer! The steering went out! Okay. That's good. Alright. Ow! You're a mess, pal. I wasn't expecting any damage to be done, but you impressed me. Thanks, man. Right, this thing's gonna go mega fast into the battlefield. We're gonna use the cannon to its full ability and then a surprise attack, which you guys are gonna see in just a second. Here's a surprise attack. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was some sweet effort. It's not about the tank, it's about the driver. Am I right? Sure. <laughs> Ready to see some real destruction? Oh. Oh.
That felt great. Oh. Let's review the damage. Almost took off the side door here. Definitely ruined the entire interior and the roof. I was trying to just pull the whole thing off, but it didn't have the capabilities of that. But still, this was pretty sweet. Look at the hole you punched through right yeah. here. Oh, why can't they do that to the roof? Coist like an accordion. Final contest, the winner. Cardboard. <laughs> what? No, 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 the winner was Justin. <laughs> I'd be extremely disappointed if I didn't win with a $20,000 budget. Good job. <laughs> Thanks for all the tanks for sponsoring this video. Use our invite code JSTU for new users. Link in the description. We'll see you next time.